Hello people, welcome to Movie Reviews for Life and I am getting back on track with the 21 Jump Street episode reviews and today's episode I'm going to do is Gotta Finish the Riff right there, okay and the reason that you see a star next to it is because this episode features a commentary with Peter DeLuise who played Doug Penhall um, he also uh, wrote a few episodes uh, later on and directed a couple and he's gone on to you know obviously direct some stuff alright uh, the episode is, is written by Bill Ness and Patrick Hasberg and um, and it was directed by Kim Manners uh, I will mention that the notable guest stars are Blair Underwood as the main antagonist, uh, Reggie Brooks, and Robert Picardo as Ralph Buckley. Uh, Robert Picardo is mostly known for his role in, I believe it's Star Trek Deep Space Nine and Star Trek Voyager as the Doctor, um, who, you know, he had, it's, it's a bit role, but it, it's, it's kind of, I guess, an important role. Um, uh, basically, what the story is, um, is the, uh, Officer Janko, um, has uh, spoilers for anyone who has not seen this episode. Um, Officer Jenko has passed away. He was uh, killed in a, a car accident uh, because of a drunk driver. Uh, and the Jump Street team are kind of dismantled and sent to different you know areas with uh, Tom Hansen becoming uh, just a desk person, which is what was kind of, uh, um, he was kind of warned about that in the first episode, that he can just be put down as uh, a desk person until he looks old enough. And, and, and Officer Hoffs, uh, has always said that she didn't want to work vice, you know, that was something that she really didn't want to do, because it's the only thing that, you know, a woman in the force can do at that time, at that period of time when she first started, and she ends up doing that. Uh, it's not really much, I forget what it is that Aoki and Penhall said they were doing, but yeah, basically they're brought back, and they now run, uh, it's, it's Captain Fuller comes in, he's played by Steve Williams, and, and in fact, this is actually one of the reasons I watched the show when I was younger, was just his, his, his presence was just very, kind of uh, authorita uh, authorized, or whatever that word is. Anyway, um, he comes in and, you know, he basically says, well, this is how I'm going to run things, you know, we're, it's not going to be laid back and blah, 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 it's going to be run like a real police station, um, which, you know, you do wind up seeing uh, later on, not in this episode, but later on in a, in a different episode, you see exactly how much of a change there is. Um, but this episode basically focuses on uh, a, a hostage situation. Um, Hoffs and Hansen both end up in this high school that even before they really start going undercover uh, is taken hostage by, by actually a star student, someone who was um, recently embarrassed, but he's actually a smart guy. And that's played by Blair Underwood, um, who was, who he feels he was, you know, embarrassed by the principal, um, and, and it's part of a gang, you know, and, uh, I think the real focus, uh, uh the, 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 it, it's a kind of one of those generic hostage situation type of episodes, but it works really well, and, uh, the main, the main idea for the episode for me, like the reason why I like it so much, because it is actually one, my, one of my top five episodes of the season, or top three even, is that um, it shows it, it shows the, the the police officers in their in, in what would normally be a natural element for them. Yeah, they're police officers. They're not little kids. They may go to high schools, but they're not little kids. They just have to pretend to be kids when they go to these high schools, but in this episode, you almost get none of that. It's basically just a drunk, like a, like an, uh, like an episode of T.J. Hooker, basically, but more mature, you know, and, um, and, and I just love the way that they kind of interact. Uh, Aoki, uh, 
Fuller is not very trustworthy to the group at first, but he really shows the, the command that he has uh, and, and the fact that he actually cares about his officers. They're not just workers to him. They're, they're people and, and, and they're valuable to him. You know, um, you also get a little bit more of a hint between Hansen and Hoff's attraction for one another, but it's not, it's not really extended at all. You know, uh, there's, you know, there's not much going there. Um, Penn Hall is also great in this episode. Um, he has to, he he has to kind of infiltrate the place as a pizza delivery guy, and he just, he really knows how to, he really knows how to, uh, uh, like work the pizza guy angle very well. You know, um, there are moments in the episode where you can kind of, you can see a development in the characters, uh, mainly like Blair Underwood and, and you know, his character is Reggie. The, the, there's a scene where the principal is like, you know, you're smarter than this, why are you doing this? And, and, and he yells at him saying, why are you always telling me I'm so smart? You know, it's, it's, it's one of those moments where it's like, there's more to this guy than just holding a gun up. Like, something really happened in his world. And, and, and you know, you leave the episode definitely wondering, like, what happened to this guy. You know, um, there is a continuity issue that people kind of like to harp on, and I have a kind of a, a long shot opinion on that. Uh, in this episode, it's it's set uh, the the captain, who's once again played uh, by Frank McCarthy, I believe his name is. Um, he he mentions like, oh, now you know, now the mayor loves the idea of this program, blah blah blah, and in the pilot. He says that it's the mayor's baby. Well, the only possibility I can see as to why there, this can actually be a legitimate comment is that this is a different mayor. Uh, we don't know how far, how long from the time that Janko passes away to to the uh, to when they get back together. We don't know exactly how long. I think I think it's I think it's kind of alluded to a couple of months. Um, but it's not like a hundred percent like guaranteed of how long it is So it could be like it could be a year It could be a couple of months and within that couple of months there was a new election or you know or, or or somebody else a different mayor took over uh, the, the program or something, you know or being in charge of the program So there is that possibility, you know, um, or it could just be a simple mistake and back then you, that back then, the only time we saw episodes back to back were marathons. We didn't have DVDs. Uh, we rarely had VHS tapes on TV shows like that. To, for a TV show to have uh, a VHS release had to mean that the show was either no longer aired and it was n never a full season either. Uh, you know, that's something else to point out. Uh, it was never a full season. Um, so yeah, nowadays we get nothing but TV shows released, and it's a real, it's a real kind, it's a cool treat. But you know, they they always have to take into consideration that it's a week. You know, we have a week in between each episode. Usually, that's you know real time for the episodes themselves. But sometimes you do have you know the, a little time lapse even in the episode themselves. But um, overall, I really enjoyed this episode. Uh, Blair Underwood. Uh, even though the show has been canceled, he can be seen on the sh uh, the show Ironside. I believe it airs on NBC. Um, it's a it's actually a really good show, but it's based on an '80s uh, TV series. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it's been canceled. So I stopped watching it just because it's been canceled. I'm tired of getting into shows and having cliffhangers. Uh, but I'm gonna show you this. The pictures that you see are, this is actually from the episode, okay, and this is actually the start of the third disc of the season. It is the start of the third disc. Uh, it's really all I have much to say about it. Uh, I would probably give this a 4 out of 5, maybe a 5 out of 5, it, it depends on the day I guess. But it's definitely something to check out. Uh, once again, I'm, I'm commenting on the Anchor Bay release. Okay, and I mean, this is old enough to where uh, the slip talks about 
the slip talks about the the possibility of a movie in 2005. <laughs> so this was a few years, like a few years ago. Uh, you can get it pretty. I think they're pretty expensive on eBay, uh, and or you can get the Mills Creek one, but that doesn't have the commentary. So it's up to you, uh, whichever whichever you think is worth it. So once again, four out of five. That's going to be my that's going to be my standstill rating. Is four out of five. So see you later, and the next episode to be reviewed will be Bad Influence. Later.